Hi, this is Retro Kimmer. I'm here with Jake O'Quinn, and his grandfather produced the two of the Ron Ashton films, uh, The Frostbiter and The Carrier. And what's really cool is in this old schoolhouse where Jake's family still hangs around, uh, the set is still intact. So we're going to go down and not partially. partially intact. And Jake is going to give us a tour of this, so hang tight. Okay, this is part of the set from the movie The Frostbiter. And this used to have an Evil Dead poster, which is not here anymore. Jake, what else you got to say about this? Well, they actually built four walls of the cabin in here, and they had the whole cabin set in this room that we're in. Mm -hmm. And uh, it actually got torn down three of the four walls for uh, a hard winter. I can't remember if there was one some in the, in the past 22 years or so. But uh, you can see the pillars in the movie, and it's kind of strange to have these pillars in a cabin. It is. So Ron, Ron was down here, and he did that movie with your grandfather. What was your grandfather's name? Uh, Bill Seamers. Bill Seamers did this. And he made the second movie, The Carrier, with him as well here? Yeah, The Carrier came out first, I believe. Oh, Carrier came out first. And Ron was so excited about doing films, and he wanted to do another one. And uh, Ron largely wrote it, but, uh, but that was after he and my grandfather went over it, and they wrote a bunch of stuff. My grandfather took off for a little while, and they sort of changed a lot of things. It's a lot of interesting things down in this basement. This is really cool. And what what years was this, Jake? Would you say? This is 88, 80, 80, maybe 86. All right. And you you showed me that can of Hormel chili. Oh yeah. What 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 significance does that have? Well, you got it in your pocket. Here, chili is a big part of the movie here. Chili is. And uh, Let's go ahead and set that on. The all right, I'm going to set this down so you guys can see this chili can here. If I can find a place to put it. Uh, there's nowhere for me to put it. Here, here we go. Here's the chili can. <laughs> this is the original one that's in the film. And it's all rusty. You can see how old this is. It does have that flip top on it. So it had to be about the 80s, 90s, somewhere in there. Anyway, that was in the movie with Ron. I just think, how cool is this? Uh, nobody's filmed this. Here, I'm going to just go low for a minute, or high this for a minute. This hasn't been filmed since the movie. Yeah, nobody's been down here since that movie was finished, right, Jay? Pretty much, yeah. This is too cool. And uh, we're going to go up and shoot uh, the piano that Ron liked to play when he was here. That's where we're going right now. I just have to show you guys this big old basement. This is in a really, really old big schoolhouse. Uh, I shouldn't say what city it's in, in case, you know, they want some privacy, the people who uh, own it. Uh, but there sure is a ton of really cool things in here. A lot of curio cabinets and, and props and things from the films. And uh, right now Jake's looking up something from the movie The Evil Dead. It's this moldy old tree. This is a moldy old tree that was part of the movie Evil Dead Part 2. That's interesting. My grandfather used to have the cellar door, but while he was away, my grandmother didn't know it was anything special, so she burned it in the fireplace. Oh, no. I know. It's a really, it's a shame. I bet a lot but of he things. Does, he told me he's got a secret place in this house where he's got movie set items from Frostbiter and Evil Dead 2. Well, we're going to talk story. to your grandfather when he gets back from, where is he, Florida? Uh, he's in Arkansas. Arkansas. Florida. Yeah, well, we're going to interview him, too, when Absolutely. he comes back. This he's is so great, character. Jay. This is really great. That's a nice little shop. This Good is luck a... finding anything. But... Yeah, oh my word, look at all this stuff. I think this is a... essential for any carpentry shop over here. Oh, my word. <laughs> Whoa! In case you have to do any repairs, you know. Uh, body repairs? <laughs> Perfect for Halloween. Look at all this stuff. I wouldn't come down here in the dark if you paid me. <laughs> this, this little skull here. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Sorry, I didn't make... <laughs> oh. 
Oh my word, look at that. Oh my word, look at that skull. Is that a shrunken head hanging there? Uh, I think it's a puppet. A puppet? There's, <laughs> there's hundreds of puppets in this house. Oh, and there's the strings from the puppets hanging up there. There's the marionette strings hanging there, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. And that, your grandfather was into that? He used to build puppets, too. Yeah. Wow. Puppet. We're definitely coming back to meet Granddad. Yeah, I highly recommend it. All right. Okay, Jake, you're sitting at a piano that Ron Ashton used to play, and uh, and your granddad used this part of this in the film, or or what? No, this wasn't in the film, but uh, Ron loved to play this piano. He he was amazed that it uh, hadn't been tuned in forever, and it was still in tune. And being a guitar player, he appreciated that. So, remember any of the songs Ron liked to play? Uh, I can't remember what my grandpa said the specific songs were, but he said he would play. A couple Beethoven and Mozart pieces. Well, play us a little ditty, would you? Okay. Uh, let's see what I got here. Can you play I Want to Be Your Dog on the piano? No, I, I, <laughs> I probably should have learned something like that. <laughs> Sir, Delphonics. Delphonics would be cool. Nah. I don't care. Body and soul. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to play it. Oh, come on now. Yeah, yeah this is a song I wrote when I was uh, 15. Yeah, this is Matt Maruzic. I don't usually play the piano, but I'm gonna play it. So it goes like, it goes like, you're tired to the ground. 